13th century. Clashes between Muslim and Christian troops were taking place in various locations. But now there was the third force, Mongols. They exiled the Khwarazmians, who fled and allied with the Egyptian Mamluks. Hey, look, what's it? Looks like a city. Come on, let's go see it. The Khwarazmians took and sacked Jerusalem on their way to Egypt. Damn, why didn't I think of that? Is that even legal? So, what do we do now? They looted Jerusalem. Oh, it doesn't matter. I don't feel sorry for it. I don't care. Pope's call for a crusade didn't work. There were many conflicts within Europe that kept its leaders from embarking on the crusade. The only king interested in beginning another crusade was Louis IX, King of France. He declared his intent to go east in 1245. Guys, guys, stop fighting. Let's go east. Boo, I don't want to go anywhere. I like it here. Remember how it ended in previous crusades? Hmm. Hey dudes, so who are with me? As soon as it comes to action, they scatter like rats. They're too chicken to fight. Well, I'll work it out myself. I can handle it on my own. Okay, well, where do I start? Where's my assistant? Come here. Write down my decree. I order to double the taxes. This money must be redirected to the crusade preparation. Soon, many nobles join Louis on the expedition. Don't be mad. We are going with you. As a result, Louis got 15,000 strong army. They sailed on 36 ships from the port of Masai and Aguimort, which had been specifically built by Louis to prepare for the crusade. In short, the seventh crusade started. Egypt was the object, but they sailed first to Cyprus and spent the winter on the island negotiating with various other powers in the East. What's next? Will we hang out in Cyprus or sail on? So, look, my plan is to take Damietta. Uh, Dami... What? Damietta. It'll be a base from which to attack Jerusalem. Where is that city? Something special up there? Wine. Wow, let's go. I thought alcohol is prohibited there. Shush, now. They took Damietta on June 6th with little resistance from the Egyptians, who withdrew further up the Nile. Where's the water come from? Guys, the Nile flooded. The flooding of the Nile grounded Louis and his army at Damietta for six months, where the knights sat back. In November, Louis could march towards Cairo. Louis sent small forces to attack al Mansura. They were defeated and only a small handful survived. Louis' main force was attacked by the Mameluk Baibars, the commander of the army and the future sultan himself. Louis was defeated as well, but he did not withdraw to Damietta, preferring to besiege Mansura. I wanted to mount a surprise attack. I'm a pretty good strategy guy. Hmm, if that's how you feel. Winter was coming. There's no food, no water. People got sick. Oh, okay, probably it's high time to retreat. The besiege ended in the starvation and death of his own army. Louis' army was annihilated at the Battle of Farisker. I'm not going to go down easy. The fight left in me. Oh, well, I'm singing it now. Subject of this song is a good and brave young man who went to fight evil. He was taken captive, but eagles came flying and rescued him. Eagles. Eagles! Help me! You called for us? Louis was taken captive. In May, he was ransomed and Damietta was surrendered. Upon this, he immediately left Egypt for Acre, one of few remaining crusader possessions in Syria. Well, I'll celebrate my return. I cannot believe it! Why is it ruined now? I'm scared. We gotta rebuild it. Louis made an alliance with the Mamluks and from his new base in Acre began to rebuild the other crusader cities, particularly Jaffa and Saida. Buddy, pour me some wine. Well, you can have one, but you got quite a bar tab. Oh. In 1254, Louis's money ran out, and he sailed home. Before leaving, he established a standing French garrison at Acre. The Seventh Crusade was a failure. 